Good day, everybody, and welcome to Wine Passion TV. I'm Sam, and I'm back in the kitchen. It's a hot day. Just finished work. It's about to rain. It's big thunderstorms happening, and I want to bring you something that's along the lines of the theme that I've been running with for the last few weeks, and it's the USA theme. Why am I always doing USA wines? Why do I go to the USA? Because in my eyes, in my heart, that's where I learnt the craft of winemaking. I spent a lot of time over there. It's a beautiful place. The wines are as good as anywhere else in the world. They, um, you know, Cabernet's out of Napa, the Pinot's out of the Russian River, the Pinot's out of the Central Coast, Chardonnay's out of the Russian River, the Chardonnay's out of the Central Coast. That rival Burgundy, rival Bordeaux, rival Chablis, I'm totally in love with, with the, 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 the US wine industry. Why not Australia? Hey, I live in Australia. I've got wines in my own backyard. I make Australian wines. There's nothing wrong with Australian wines, but it's always good to try something different. A little gem that I found yesterday is the Chateau St. John 2009 Sonoma County Chardonnay. Sonoma County, north of, um, north of uh, San Francisco. Um, that's where I did my first ever vintage, um, 2002. Chardonnays that come out of there are sublime. Now this one's 20 bucks. I've earned this at 20 bucks at one of the IGAs. Um, if you're in Shepparton, go see my, my old mate Rob Harrington. Um, in the USA, this will sell for about 12 to 15 bucks, and you'll find it pretty much anywhere. Look, it's, it is a mass-produced one, but it's probably one of the ones that they do do it. They do make the wine with a bit of care. Um, it's got the typical California notes. Green apple, a zesty lime, citrus, it's also a bit of pear and good old trusty barrel fermentation. A little bit of hazelnut. medium body wine. It's got a little bit of residual sugar, which makes it, it's, it's, it's pleasant. People who know me will laugh at me when I say it's pleasant. It's a very pleasant drinking wine with all the hallmarks of California Chardonnay. Okay? I love Chardonnay, and so should you. You need to get back onto the Chardonnay bandwagon. Okay? You'll, you'll get some good ones out there that are good straight down the middle. Balance of fruit, balance of oak, but quality. Now, for 20 bucks, I could drink this day and night. It's sensational. Clean, it's full body, got a little bit of sweetness. It's got a little bit of that buttery aspect, but it's not a huge amount. It goes along the lines of the hazelnut, the grilled nuts, almond, but the fruit on it, it's nice and big and rich. And it'll go well with a nice pasta dish or whatever you want to drink it, drink it on its own. I drank most of this bottle last night. Not much left. Anyway, it's good to see you again. I'm going to be shifting off the Chard uh, sorry, the USA theme and probably getting back into some Australian things, some local things that we make here in my, in my own backyard. And um, it's, it's gearing up for Christmas time. So uh, let's look forward to uh, some interesting wines uh, for the Christmas season. Uh, that's probably about it, really. Adios, and enjoy your wine. Ciao.